Well, welcome, everyone. Today, we welcome to the show Bill Abbott. Bill is the CEO and co-founder of Great American Media, a man with over 30 years of experience in the TV industry. Faith-based audiences will have seen his work in such places as various Hallmark channels, Crown Family Network, and now with the Great American Media's merger with Pure Flix last June, uh, has been renamed Great American Pure Flix. And of course, Pure Flix was a big and it continues to be big in the uh, faith-based audience scene. So, uh, Bill, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Joseph. Great to be here. Yeah, so I guess first, the big question is, for people who don't know, like, what is Great American Media, and what does it sort of add to the world of entertainment and media that's uh, not already being served elsewhere? Well, uh, Great American Media is a combination of... Uh, the uh, PureFlix platform, which you mentioned, which is streaming. And then on the linear side, we have two channels, Great American Family and Great American Faith and Living, both of which are uh, family friendly. And then in the fast space, we have two channels, Great American Adventures and PureFlix, which uh, are uh, one's a, more of a lifestyle channel and PureFlix is obviously more PureFlix content. But what it brings to the landscape, I think is a, just a relentless positivity and, and focal point around portraying faith, family, and country in an uplifting and positive light that is uh, really missing from the entertainment landscape and something we're, we're very proud to do. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it's 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 certainly interesting. Again, I remember, you know, I I'm growing up in the sort of the the faith based audience space. You know, again, I grew up a Christian and you know had the Christian home, and so my family was always trying to be like, oh, you know. My kid likes movies and TV like all kids do, but, you know, what's, you know, out there, everything out there seems to be kind of deconstructing of ideas of family, of faith, and, and things like that. So always kind of trying to find what places were not doing that. And, you know, of course, I, I, I you know, I wasn't always, you know, again, I was I, I was like a boy, and so I didn't always jump through the Hallmark trains or things like that. Pure Flix, you know, so what's interesting, again, so Pure Flix kind of became the uh, idea of, you know, this is the the uh, Christian network, a Christian Netflix, the Christian Netflix for, um, you know, for Christians to be like, okay, this is gonna be safe for my family and this is gonna affirm Christian values. What was it that you saw? Cause, but then I, I've actually like watched some of the, but it also had a reputation for maybe, you know, again, you don't have to speak to this exactly, being like maybe sort of bad quality, some of them. Um, I'll say this, you know, that I, um, since watching, you know, again, I've watched a little bit of what uh, Great American Pure Flix has had since then, and the quality has definitely, like, stepped up since um, since that merger and since, you know, a little bit before that, you know, certain different acquisitions they were doing. And that's an interesting conversation that's going on in the faith-based audience space around Pure Flix and Great American Pure Flix. So one of the things I'm interested, I mean, again, one of the was like, um, Birthright Outlaw, I actually put as one of the top 10 faith-based films of last year when I did uh, my list for 2023. What was it about Pure Flix that made you decide was uh, something that was worth acquiring and being a part of your platform? And uh, and what did you, is it that you think that, um, that, that makes excited to have people uh, watch it and be utilizing it? Yeah, I think, uh, and you know, the PureFlix team did the best they could in licensing content that was, uh, you know, positive and supported faith. But the reality is that there hasn't been a lot of marquee content with high-level talent that's been produced for the faith-based audience. And True. So, I can attest. Uh, yeah, and, and and the audience is huge. That's out there. That's looking for it. And. You know, you've had some one-offs and some people who've done a, a good job of it. But when you think of this type of content, generally the word bad comes in front of it, you know, because I think it's produced on a budget level that is much lower because there isn't the funding in the entertainment world the way there is if you're at Disney or, you know, you're at Paramount. So uh, it's been underfunded. And I think it's been underrepresented in terms of the high profile talent. And we see a great opportunity to, to create more higher quality at a, a little bit higher cost and with better talent. And we think that changes the game significantly. Fantastic. Yeah. So you're, you know, again, your, your mission is you're kind of like, okay, we're, we're, we're doing stuff that's family oriented 
and uh, faith oriented and to a certain degree patriotic, I guess is sort of how you're, you know, yes. uh, how you describe it, sort of faith, family and, and country sort of uh, is sort of your three pillars of great American media and great American pure flex. Would that be accurate to say? Exactly. And, the, and, and part of that is in response to the fact that the entertainment community very often will be degrading faith, family and country in the way it's portrayed in the majority of content that's out there. And, you know, you look at Top Gun, it's not, a, uh, you know, it's not an accident that that movie is so successful and, you know, it is more, you know, supportive of military and, and uh, those areas. And people just, and it's the right thing to do, you know, uh, start there. Cool. No, that, that, makes, that makes sense. So, yeah, so there is most, most people in the country are, um, you know, fairly pro America. You know, it's where they, where 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 we live, and most are f decently religious. Obviously, the you know that the amount of non-religious people are growing. Although technically, what's interesting is they're not technically becoming non-religious. They aren't just aren't identifying with a particular you know religious group. They still believe in God and things like that. Um, and most are pretty decently pro family. So you're saying, but then the entertainment industry largely is kind of deconstructive of those things. You know, again, even you know. Um, Dune Part Two, which you just saw, is very like it's like it's kind of skeptical about patriotism and religion and stuff like that. We it's a great movie, but like you said, obviously there's a hung, more of a hunger for it than in the audience than there is content being made for it, and you can see that in examples like Top Gun. So what are you you know what is your kind of um, plan going forward to make? something like uh, the Great American Pure Flix, something that can compete with those other streaming services. You mentioned, you know, uh, you mentioned what you call it, um, uh, putting more funding into it, at putting extra money and making sure there's going to be more art marquee talent. How do you sort of plan to attract a lot more of that marquee talent? Or are, there, are there other ways that you're planning to um, create a, a greater degree of quality in the content that's on your platform? Well, uh, the... the uh element that is under the radar, I think, is how many people really do want to work in this space and who are willing to put their names out there in association with this product. And it goes, you know, way beyond Candace. And and certainly she's our chief, chief content officer, chief creative officer. So she's got the, you know, uh, the, she has the knowledge and the credibility to really help us identify that talent. And then, you know, we can work with them on content that uh, is again supportive of those three areas, and it's it's really amazing as talent matures and they become more, they become either parents or they they want you know to do good for the world, and the mentality changes from you know people who are you know in their who are much younger and are focused on making a career and a name for themselves. And you look at the roster of talent that we have on our uh, on on our channel and on PureFlix. It's going to be very very high quality in terms of because uh, they don't associate themselves with things that are low quality, low budget, and not well stories well told. Gotcha. All right, cool. So, what can people be looking forward to in the next uh, little bit? If you want to give people say, okay, this is what you know, you should subscribe to this because this is what you've got to look forward to uh, coming up soon. Yeah. So we're really excited. We just premiered our first original series, County Rescue, which was uh, an EMT unit that uh, uh, doesn't necessarily have known talent in it, but the talent in it is should be known because they're fantastic. But then we have The Blind, which will premiere on Great American Pure Flix exclusively on March 22nd, which is the Phil Robertson story. That's a very emotional and moving journey. Uh, it's been getting uh, a lot of a lot of pre positive press, too. Yeah, and, and it's because it's beautifully done. And it was uh, at $17 million at the box office and on a limited run. And so we're very excited about that. We have a movie produced by Candace called Just In Time, that stars Laura Osnes, that is uh, a, a celebration of Easter and a celebration of life, of, of life, because life's a journey, and even the downs are something that 
you know, you look at and you learn from and you ultimately celebrate when you have the ups in life. And it's a very uplifting story, ultimately. Uh, and then we have, you know, some more fun things like a cozy mystery with Candace that uh, will premiere in late April, May. Uh, that uh, is uh, is just a, a great whodunit. Uh, and nice. then as we as we go through the year, we have a number. We have a, a movie called Finding Faith that is uh, uh, beautifully done. That will premiere also in the end at the end of April, along with uh, some rom coms and some lighter fare. Uh, but we'll be uh, you know we'll be in both camps, and we're excited about uh, you know Christmas certainly twenty plus <laughs> movies again this year at Christmas, and you know again but, but focused on faith, family, and country. Yeah. And all across all of the titles, not just some of them, you know, so we'll be, you know, just relentless and unabashedly supportive of those three pillars, as you said. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This is very... Uh, You're welcome, is, Joseph. Good seeing you. Is, thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you for taking okay. the time as well. Okay.